Hello, everybody! Uh, once again, I have some stuff from the Goodwill by the Pound. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I've been kind of saving these up. Uh, all this footage was from earlier months. Uh, now conditions are not the greatest uh, to go to the Goodwill by the Pound anymore. Uh, so this might be the last uh, Goodwill by the Pound video for a while uh, until things change. Uh, I did find a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, let's start off with something from the regular Goodwill, not the Goodwill by the Pound. I found this excellent Core Rulebook 2. Ooh, yes, this Core Rulebook 2 for Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. Six bucks, which is not a really bad price at all. And, uh, certainly, I know exactly where to put this book. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing first, just some DVDs. Uh, you know, it's, it's weird how sometimes, you know, obviously they're getting rid of old stock and stuff, but it's odd the kind of stuff that you find. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I haven't watched this movie in a while. Uh, again, uh, it seems like a pretty good price of a buck fifty a pound to see it. <laughs> the American Godzilla. Man, what an absolute... Uh, disappointment for a lot of people. Uh, not not the greatest, certainly not. <laughs> uh, Batman, the Batman, second season. This is uh, different than the original animated uh, show, uh, so I thought I would check it out. And because I don't really remember watching this, um, I don't remember watching this at all. But uh, this is the full second season, so again, thought I'd get it. Uh, Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker. Uh, interesting movie. Uh, and then Superman Doomsday with the holographic setup here. This is the uh, this is just the DVD version. This is not the Blu-ray version, I don't think. Yeah, it's just the DVD version, but it's the fancy um, it's the fancy one with the disc. So once again, considering how light DVDs are, then uh, you know I'd check this out. Uh, some of the DC movies are pretty good. Superman and Batman: Public Enemies. This is another one that I've just never watched before, and it would be kind of interesting to check it out. So, uh, I did. Uh, oh, actually, I got my receipt here. Um, so, yeah, this was... There was some stuff I got for 20 cents a pound. If you could look at it. Yeah, in total, this was only... In total, this was only $7.06 uh, in total for all this stuff. Not including the uh, 6 bucks that I paid for the, the book. So... Uh, yeah, some more Playmobil stuff. The Playmobil, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but I call it cheap crafting stuff. Uh, I think it's the only thing I got here. I got this really interesting looking siege weapon here, and this is one of those little toy things that actually kind of work a little bit. It's got a bit of, uh, it's got a bit of elastic there. So, that's, in I liked the sculpt of this, so, uh... I could definitely maybe give this a repaint and see if this might be nice uh, for some sort of siege weapon. I mean, it does have a nice bit of detail, so I'll have to see. Again, you don't really see that many... Uh, I just I think this would just be a battering ram. I don't know if there's a better word for it or not. Uh, what else we got here? Wow, I don't even know what that was. Something just started making noise. Uh, I found yet another Mr. Potato Head. It seems like uh, when you're looking for Mr. Potato Heads, you can't find them. But when you're not looking for them, you find a lot of them. More, again, I, I guess this is all Playmobil. But this is a nice, this is a very nice little stump here. You could definitely use this to build off of something, which is like, I like doing. You'll see that in a bunch of the other... Um, crafting projects that I'm doing. Yeah, another uh, toys, video game toy, <laughs> Skylander. I, I don't know if I can actually do anything with this. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a, certainly a nice sculpt, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems, I don't know. It, it was there, so I grabbed it, but possibly, I don't know. That might have been a misstep. Ooh, I do like this one, though. This is a How to Tame Your Dragon 2 toy. 
And this has pretty good detail. Now, of course, it's cartoony and whatnot, but it is this, you know, the correct size for a large dragon. And like I said, I really like the two-wing design. So I might have to... I might have to do something with this. Um, yeah. Not a bad sculpt at all. Obviously, repaint would fix the cartoony eyes. But yeah, I like that. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got some uh, adhesive pearls. I've seen people on other channels use these sort of things as rivets. So if I need some super big rivet rivets, I can use those to put it on there. Uh, some more Skylander stuff. This one was ripped <laughs> from the base, which is hilarious. Uh, I liked, I liked the head on this one. I could see this one like being part of like a, a piece of terrain or maybe some sort of like trap, or something like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna behead this guy, and uh, use this guy's head as, as something. Uh, let's see here. What else we get? Uh. Oh, for non-crafting stuff, I actually found these figures here. And these really reminded me, if my camera will focus today, which it doesn't want to. These figures, uh, I didn't get for crafting, but rather because these reminded me of the Sandman graphic novel. And, I mean, this guy literally has what appears to be like a gas gun. I don't, I have no clue... And when I talk about the Sandman, I, I talk about, like, the original, well, <laughs> in, in the comic universe, like, apparently, uh, the Sandman took up the mantle of the Sandman when the, uh, quote-unquote, real Sandman, uh, dream went away for a while. But I don't know, these just seemed really interesting. They have, like, these little pegs. So I'm gonna do some, uh, investigation, figure out what these are, because these actually seemed, like, really interesting, like, I, I want to say these are comic book toys, but honestly, I don't know exactly what these could be, but they're very cool looking, so I'm glad I grabbed those. Uh, <laughs> uh, neon, translucent, sunglassing, sunglasses wearing, uh, horned thing. I think this is supposed to be a dragon, but my god, how gaudy and horrible. It re I really want to, like, touch this up and use this for something. But, uh, yeah, I think this is part of something else. There was more bits from that same thing. Uh, yeah, here we go. I got, uh, I got the body, I think, of that. Uh, <laughs> my god, look at this thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what the heck that is, but it had some cool-looking parts on it. Incomplete, uh, but, uh, yeah, cool-looking parts. A cowl in a bit of armor, which I, I don't know, I, I might try to do something with that as, like, a ghost, maybe? Cheap medieval warrior toys. Uh, we have this one. I have no, what the, this is from, this is from Mattel, so this is a little bit different. This horse right here is from Mattel. It's a little bit shrimpy for D&D, but, like, the sculpt is pretty nice. So, I got that. And I got a bunch of the El Cheapo uh, Knights toys. So, you've seen these before. I don't know why I grabbed so many of them. Uh, I, I do like these for statues, and, you know, I was coming up with an idea for a puzzle that required a lot of statues a seahorse which I could put on a small base and just have a little bit of the seahorse there I have no clue what this is this is uh, a small snake and a bit of I, I have no clue maybe like armor or something I don't know uh, just a McDonald's toy I should have left this one there because I don't know what I'm going to do with something like this. I think I got this just for the shield, so I could cut the shield off and use that uh, for something like maybe like an oversized archer's uh, shield or something like that. Um, oh, likewise, I probably should have let it go, let it go, and not taken this 
big old massive uh, moose reindeer thing from Frozen. Though I could use the antlers for something, because it's it's just it's way too big to use for it's way too big to use for uh, D and D stuff. The scale is just completely off. But uh, yeah. A transformer that turns into a speedboat and obviously is part of a larger transformer. Uh, and I found this uh, this pretty interesting uh, treasure chest slash um, box thing, which with the right paint job could 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 look pretty nice. I might just trim off. I trim off this little large bit here and just glue the top on and then paint it up like a cursed chest or something. I like the, uh, I like little bits of stuff like that where you can work on it and something interesting could come about from it. <laughs> this was what's making the noise. It's a big old thing. I think this is like, um,. I forget which which brand of thing this is from, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's a big old lion head. Uh, if I can kind of unscrew this part here, this could be like a carved stone obelisk. Man, this is a big. I'm turn that off for now, and then uh, yeah. Fill in this... Well, I don't even know if I would have to do that. But this would look nice as, like, a, a stone carving that might ask a riddle or something like that. So, yeah. Interesting enough. And I found uh, another How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, this one, I believe... Uh, I don't know what movie this one. Probably from the first one. But, uh, yeah, it actually looks pretty interesting. Now again, the cartoony eyes are not as bad on this one, so yeah, I felt I could like glue this down on a base, and this this could be something. I mean, it's it's a very nice sculpt. Yeah. So another how to train your dragon guy. Nice enough uh, textures. Maybe a repaint. Whoosh! Very nice wings too. Uh, and finally, I found some bits from an escape room board game, which I thought would make some really cool terrain. Like, this little piece here has all these little bits that pop up and down. But uh, it has this... All these little things here that with the board game. But I figure I can just kind of... Uh, I can just basically do it just a paint job on this and just have a static vault that the players are trying to get into or something. That'd be kind of cool. I have found enough... Uh, <laughs> uh, I forget what the name of this stuff is. It's something to help with crocheting or quilting or something. I don't know about that because I just use it for easy windows. So this is actually pretty good quality. If you do sideways and you cut out windows, you can make little window panes that look pretty good in 28 millimeter. And so yeah, I grabbed these and this will definitely be uh, a nice bit of uh, stuff I can use for crafting window panes. The final bit from that, uh, the, uh, oh, I, I guess you could just call it the escape room game. I don't know what the heck it is, but uh, yeah. Um, this is in here so hard that I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because it would be nice to have something inside of this. But, uh, yeah, I guess I could just get rid of the tabs on the thing. Because the, the base, clearly, is not supposed to be easily taken out. But I think if I kind of get rid of some of the tabs, you'll be able to put the top of it on and off pretty well. And I don't know about the arrow. I think maybe I'll just leave the arrow out. But uh, I really enjoy the patterns. Maze-like patterns of all this stuff. And the bottom can just be... I'll keep the bottom on there. 
and then just get rid of some of the tabs so you can easily put stuff in and out of this. Lots of nice little texture. This will look very nice painted in a metallic color and then give nice and muted metallic stuff going on there. So there you go. This is all the stuff from the Goodwill by Zepound that I found. And uh, yeah, I like that. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, and I actually went to the Savers thrift store and I found something very interesting that will require minimal, minimal uh, painting. And that's this lovely dinosaur. And I did find out what series this is from, but I paid, what was it? Yeah, I paid three bucks for this. And this is a just absolutely, it, the only, you can kind of fit uh, a miniature in there. Actually, let me grab a miniature and see if I can actually. So that actually works out pretty well. So absolutely minimal uh, changes will need, need to be made for this. Uh, there's actually some bits broken off. So I'll have to maybe do just do some painting and uh, get rid of that. This is probably some sort of missile launcher. And there was something on the other side there that's broken off. Uh, but yeah, this always is always fun when you can find stuff where like you literally don't really have to do anything to make it into a fun D and D miniature. And this this just looks like a fun D and D miniature. Can you imagine this using this in a Chult game? So there you have it, kids. That's the last Goodwill by the Pound video that I'm gonna be doing, perhaps forever. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm probably not going to be doing a Goodwill by the Pound video anytime soon. But you know what? I have my hopes that uh, I'll be able to be back in the giant building uh, sifting through garbage uh, soon. In the meantime, I clearly have enough random stuff to do a million crafting projects and whatnot. So I will continue to do that. As well, I'm going to show you guys some of my online finds and uh, showcase some of my uh, painting projects. So stay tuned, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays to everyone out there.